Hey guys, I am Chukwemeka Doreen, a student of UNEC, a baker, and a content creator. I am on Blueprint Afric TV to tell you my Enugu story. My Enugu experience, hey God. It's been a whole lot. It's been nice. Enugu has taught me a lot. It's been a whole lot. Good and bad, but mostly good, Sha. Honestly, mostly good. Honestly, you can't compare Enugu and Lagos because Enugu, for me, Enugu is for the lazy people. Sorry to say. But you see, Lagos is for hardworking people because I live in Lagos. Like, I was brought up and born in Lagos. So I know how life in Lagos is. But nightlife, I really can't tell because I've not experienced Lagos nightlife. Enugu nightlife is good. But I know that Lagos will shall beat it from what I've heard. The people that come to Enugu to party, they're always like, Enugu, you pass still anywhere Lagos is. But with people, Lagos people, they are hardworking. Enugu, they are really relaxed. If you want to chill and enjoy, come to Enugu. That's where you actually relax. But you want fun, chill, hard work, everything, go to Lagos. So I think I would prefer Lagos life though, because Enugu is really. So just make you lounge. You will not really work hard like you would work hard in Lagos. I like the environment. It's actually a peaceful place for me because coming from a place like Lagos, where everywhere, you can't be in Lagos and you're not hearing one or two noises like from the traffic alone. So Enugu is a peaceful place for me. Honestly, it's just basically a peaceful place because there's nothing else I can say is really nice about Enugu. It's just peaceful. It's quiet. It's calm. It's chilled. You don't really need to stress. You don't need to hustle. That's the word, hustle. The lazy lifestyle. To so start with, you can wake up now by 8 and you want to go to the market. A whole Ogbete market that's like literally the biggest market in Enugu. Enugu people are sat 8, 9, they've not opened their shops. Like, I don't know why your shop should be closed. Like, that lazy lifestyle, they just lounge. Okay, Monday is sit at home. Enugu people, I'm sure they are even very happy that them. Because I'm sure if you go to places like Anambra, other states, they won't even want to stay at home. So, Enugu people are very lazy. Basically, that's what I don't like about, that's what I dislike about Enugu. Besides that, nothing else. I really can't remember much because I've not really noticed so much cultural shocks here. So, but the one I know, hey God, as a girl, you can't go to the market not properly dressed. You go to the market like Ogbete. This one, I'm even speaking as a living experience because that's happened to me. I was so scared. I was like, God, please let me just, I, I don't, funny what I wore was not bad. I just wore shorts, like, not like it was short, short, too, not bomb short, too, like, just reporters. And these men were like, uh uh, Dad, see you, see how to carry your body. The one I did not wear bra, God. That day, they were like, Ego ne can lay bra, that you cannot buy bra, you're coming from the market, you cannot buy bra. Hey, God, I said, please, Jesus, let me just go home. Because those people, they can go as far as touching you. And if you start complaining, all of them are the same thing. They have the same mentality. So nobody will even save you. So like that is one Because then in Lagos, you can actually just move around and nobody will really talk. Even if they talk, it's not like Enugu. Because Enugu people do not use Igbo to talk. Ah, honestly, if you're even going to that market or better Holy Ghost, please dress properly, eh? Not for anything, just to, for your safety. So that they will not embarrass you. Because you just, at the end of the day, nobody will come to your rescue. Unless if you are lucky. But most times... It's, it's, it can be really traumatizing. Anytime I go there, I dress properly to avoid embarrassment. Hmm. It's actually high, honestly. To me, it's high. I really can't tell how high it is because I don't really chill with people that live fake lives. So I really don't know so much about the fake life. But to me, in Ugu, because you see all these boys, especially all these guys that used to come to club, they will come out and pop drinks. Most of them, they are OE. But they're not doing this thing just to show off and make the girls feel like, oh, they have, they have. So the fake life is actually high, but I really don't know how high it is, but I shall know it's high. There's sharp fake life, like it is there. The dating bar in Inugu, to me, oh, it's not that high, honestly, because it's not really hard to get an Inugu babe. There is no much competition in Inugu compared to happening states like Lagos and Abuja. You can literally just be a sharp guy dress well look fine quoi. then have money if you have car it's another advantage because honestly most girls now don't want to even enter uber or boat that they are going after their guy you get so just package you might not even have money but once you package well they will just answer you like to date so that's just the shaft for you no go but the bar is not that high it's, you don't really need to do so much to get an inugu girl 
they can Enugu. Most Enugu guys, if you see a guy that has a girlfriend, just know there are two other or three other girls at the side. But the percentage of a very serious relationship that has just one girlfriend in it, like only you, you know you're the only one in that relationship, is very hard. Especially all these men, once they have money, they know they can't get anybody. Most Enugu guys, they are in so many, like the relationship is a multi relationship. Like they can't cheat for Africa. Enugu men. Hmm. I don't want to go deep, but it has really like shaped my mentality. It's a bad thing though, because I'm really traumatized. Because most men that come to me, I know that these people have somebody out there that they are serious with, and at the end of the day, they are coming to look for you. So, any anyway, guys, hmm, cheating is number one for me. Then what else again? And they want to take you out, Sha. They do not really want to give you money. I know this thing is even because they want to get you qua at the end of the day. Because now they really care about you. They just want to just do what they want to do. We all know what they want to do. When they do that, they will not refer you to their friend. It's not see if they finish with you, it's just you. They will refer you to their friend that go there, do this one. She's okay. She will do it for you. Tell them, give them tips to even get you. Oh um, this is very long. But I'll just stop here. Basically, any guys are very promiscuous and mature. They don't like to spend. Like, they don't want to send you money. They just want to carry that. Like, they want to see the money they're spending on you. They will take it to this place. Let's go and eat. New restaurant, all these things. Basically, that's, my, that's what that, they are doing to that really now by any guys. They, they no work. Car. There are different levels of any guys, obviously. So let's just talk about the ones I have. Car. They have a car, fine boy. Some of them are not fine, though. But you know when you have money, money is to... Even the thought of just having money used to, used to shape people's lives. So let's just say they look good, they smell nice. Maybe when they go to club, they will show off. You see this reaction? He choke. Like, sometimes I'm like, God, do you know I would have just been a normal human being? Like, maybe I would have just been slim. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. The attention is a... Like, the pressure is getting worse. Because me, I'm an outside person. I actually go out a lot. I'm not going to lie. I go out a lot. So, the attention is a whole lot. It's not easy. Let me tell you. If you know you are aspiring hot babe, my sister... It is not an easy thing. It's really difficult because the attention is too much. A lot of guys are on your neck. Both people you don't even want to talk to, they will come. And you, you don't want to be rude. You're trying your best not to be rude to them. And you just want to act all cool and chill. Then you're taking some useless talks. That's a, ah, it's not easy. And another thing again, ha. Huh? Both the one you did, the one you did not do, it to be out there. Like you can literally hear a rumor about yourself and you're like, sorry, me. When did this happen? Like, you're like, me? That's not me. Because, but at the end of the day, if you try to explain yourself, talk is what they have in their head that they will keep in their head. So most times, they even try. If they say you did, no wahala. Mm. I, ah, are you serious? Oh my, tell me more. Because if you try to change their narrative about you, it can, and once you are a hot babe, know that you are a wrong girl in people's eyes. That's just one thing you need to know. It's not easy. It's really noisy because they just generalize everybody and like, okay, everybody's doing the same thing. Once you're hot, you are doing wrongs. And men will be on your neck two for seven. It's noisy. But God will strengthen us. So all the hot girls out there, Jesus is our strength. So guys, this is the end of the interview. And thanks for staying to the end. For you to be watching this, that means you stay to the end. And trust me, I really love you. So you guys, see you next time. That's if there's a next time. If there's no next time, no one. But thanks for sticking around. And to my hot girls out there, the pressure will always be getting worse. But like I said, Jesus that we serve is your strength. So bye.